Hello, let's start off today's video with the problem statement. So, you know that Aptera can get you over 40 miles of range off of its solar panels, and you'll need to park it in the sunlight to benefit from solar charging. But when you park your car in the sunlight for that long, then there's the issue of a very hot car. Talk about stepping into a 130 degrees Celsius car on a 90 degrees Celsius hot day. Now that can be really unpleasant. So what has Aptera done to ensure that the prolonged charging in the sun doesn't negate the comfort you get from driving the Aptera? What cooling system has Aptera put in place and how does it work? Remember to like the video if you're enjoying our content, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications in order to stay connected. Let's delve into it. Prolonged parking in the sun generally has its setbacks. The longer the car is exposed to the sun, the higher the temperature, often reaching up to 80 degrees Celsius. The temperature climbs by one degree per minute in the restricted space of the passenger compartment, eventually stabilizing at roughly 70 degrees Celsius in the air and around 80 degrees Celsius on the dashboard, steering wheel, and seats. The glass in modern windscreens filters some radiation, 5% gets reflected, 25% is absorbed by the glass, and the remaining 70% enters the passenger compartment. The risk of being burned is serious. Now, Aptera needs to stay in the sunlight in order to charge via its solar panels, and that creates a heat problem. However, Aptera comes equipped with a cooling system that will include heated and cooled seats and a secondary solar-powered cabin ventilation system to maintain the interior at the ambient temperature when it's parked in the sun. The drivetrain and batteries in Aptera will be liquid-cooled. Aptera will not feature normal air-cooled radiators or heat exchangers. The vehicle's body acts as a radiator. Excess heat will be dissipated by the coolant through the vehicle's belly. The bottom of the Aptera SEV is comprised of an aluminum heatsink. This entire belly pan will be built of aluminum, like 85% of the entire lower body, for good heat conduction to the outside. Now, on an exceptionally hot day where convection isn't happening fast enough to cool the car, the car isn't moving, and there's no airflow over the car to be channeled to cool the car, Aptera's solar package will power the flow-through ventilation system to keep the interior of the vehicle at the ambient temperature as a result of convection. The Aptera has some fans on the inside to pull air through the inside of the car to lower the temperature. The car can also run this AVAC system to cool the battery. Aptera uses a skin cooling system with a liquid coolant rather than the typical condensers at the front of the car with radiators. Aptera distributes coolant through biologically inspired tubes throughout its skin to dissipate heat. This lets the vehicle's exterior acts as a radiator while also allowing the cooling system to produce zero drag without the additional weight, cost, and energy required by huge fans. In general, Aptera has three main cooling circuits for the car. The first is for the power plant. One cooling circuit serves all inverters and motors. The maximum temperature in this circuit before it shuts down is 85 degrees Celsius. The batteries are cooled by the second cooling circuit. The battery circuit keeps the battery temperature below 60 degrees Celsius. This is accomplished by a combination of skin cooling with liquid coolant and the HVAC system. The third circuit is the HVAC system for the SEV. And that's where we wrap things up for today. Our team appreciates you sticking around till this point. Please give us a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to help the channel grow and cover more breakthroughs. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification feature to stay updated. Do have a splendid day and see you in the next video.